Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank Be Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. Alright, so as y'all can see, my client has braids on top, so we're only gonna be doing the sides. Uh, we're gonna be doing a number four and then a low taper. So jumping straight into this haircut, as y'all can see, I got my number four on my Stylecraft Mythics. And all I'm doing is I'm taking the side down to that length since that is the desired length. So uh, you want to be careful the closer you get to, uh, you know, where the short hair meets the braids. Uh, if you go in too rough, you might snag a braid and pull it. Or you might even actually cut some of that hair off. So that's obviously something we're not trying to do. So as you can see, I'm taking my time the closer I get to the top of that hair or the closer, uh, the closer I get to where the hair meets the... Uh, the shorter hair meets the long hair. And when I get to that hair, you know what I'm saying, or when I get to that part of the hair, what I'm doing is I'm taking my time, I'm really looking at what's going on, and as you can see, I'm floating my clipper, because you're not gonna be able to run that four all the way up because it is a bigger guard. Uh, you know, you, you're gonna have to maneuver the clipper a different way to get all that down to that length. So that's one crucial thing you really want to be careful with guys you want to make sure you're taking your time when you're doing this and although it is easy just to take a number four guard and debulk the sides or take the sides down to that length like I said guys you want to make sure you're taking your time and you're being very uh, observant of what you're doing that way you don't cut off you know you don't cut off any of that longer hair on top and it does really help that he actually got his hair braided uh, prior to coming in that way I can actually see you know exactly how high I can take that number four guard. So moving on to the actual taper, as you can see, I have my Babyliss trimmers in my hand and I'm setting in, you know, like a half circle type shape. Uh, I'm not going too high. Like I said, we are doing a low taper and this is normally where I set my low tapers. And uh, as you can see, I'm go, I'm going to go ahead and line him up over the ear and in the back area. And the reason why I'm doing that is I already have the trimmers in my hand and I feel that it's going to help me create a better look. And you don't have to even do this part now, guys. You can do this at the very end of the haircut. It's, it's all up to you. I just like to do it now. And it helps me move a little quicker and a little more efficiently since I already have the trimmers in my hand. And what you can see me doing now is I'm taking that uh, Uno by Gamma. And all I was doing was razoring out the side of his taper. And now I'm fading in his sideburn. We are doing pointed sideburns. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, but we are doing pointed sideburns. So I just faded, you know, just faded them in real quick. And now what I'm doing is I'm setting in my next guideline and I'm only going to be coming up about half an inch or so, uh, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. You know, I don't got a ruler to actually see how high I am coming up, but it's about half an inch following that same shape. And then I closed my clipper halfway, went halfway into that section with a flick out motion. And then I adjusted my lever notch by notch closed. And the, and the, the more I adjusted it closed, the lower I came to take out that line. So now I'm going in with my number one eighth or my one guard. And like I said, guys, I'm following that same shape. You want to make sure you're following that same shape through the whole through the whole taper. That way, you know, I give the look that I'm looking for. And once I set in this guideline, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close my clipper, as you just saw me do there. And I'm attacking the bottom of this line. And since that did not take the line completely out, I'm going in with my zero guard or my 1 16th guard, starting with my, uh, with my lever open, going up halfway into that section, and then just closing my lever as needed to get that bottom line out. So now that that is done, this is my one and a half guard. Lever is open, coming up another section. And remember guys, we're following that same shape. I can't stress that enough. You wanna make sure you follow that same shape, especially since that's the look that I'm going for. You know, I want it a little darker in the C cup area. So I'm following that same shape, going in with my lever open, and then I'm closing my lever to try to get rid of any lines that I may create. So now I'm going in with my number three guard lever open, and this is going to be the biggest guard we're going to use. Uh, since we did use a four on the sides, this number three with the lever open fades in perfectly into that. So as you can see, I'm just, you know, just uh, basically debulking this tapered area or this taper area, starting off with my lever open, cleaning all that up, and then closing my lever, attacking these dark spots. And then this is my number two guard. So basically now I'm, I'm starting my fade down process. So I did the three lever open, then closed. Now I'm going in with my two lever open. And as you can see, there's a, there's a little line right there. That's really what I'm gonna work at. So I'm starting off with my two open and then I'm gonna close that lever and still try to attack that area. And I'm not gonna lie guys, that part of the taper gave me gave me a hard time on this side of the cut. Like on the other side, it came it came together a lot easier, but for whatever reason, it was giving me a hard time. And, and that's the thing sometimes, guys. It, it ain't gonna be the same exact, 
Now, it, it, it may not be as easy on one side as the other. And us as barbers, we have to realize that and we have to just know how to get these lines out and to get these dark spots just to look faded. So uh, this is my one and a half guard now. And I did juggle between my one and a half and my two guard a lot during this haircut. And that's just, you know, that's just the, the you know, that's just what happens sometimes, man. Like there's nothing I, I really can say that's gonna try to justify why I did it, but it's just the line wasn't coming out. So I had to switch my guards a lot just to just to get that line out so you're gonna have to do that sometimes you're gonna have to play with the guard use some uh use some uh corner blending and everything to try to get it out and as you can see i got that brush in my hand and i am just making sure that i'm brushing the hair down that way i can actually see what's going on because you know what i'm saying like sometimes you can cut and it doesn't look how it should look so you got to brush it down brush that excess hair away that way you can actually see what's going on And like I said, guys, I was switching be between that one and a half and that two guard a lot, uh, just trying to get that line out. And I'm still working at it here. And it, it took me a good minute, but we finally got it out. You know what I'm saying? It, as you can see, it's looking better here. Uh, still some more work needs to be done, but for the most part, it's looking a lot better than it did earlier on in this haircut. So I decided to leave it alone because it was messing with me. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and just line him up and then we'll go from there. So I'm lining up that C cup and as you can see, I'm trying to give a nice curve. Uh, like I said earlier, guys, we are keeping them sideburns nice and pointed. So I'm going on the back side of his sideburns, you know, making a straight line down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move to the front side, make my point and then come up and curve that line when I start getting to the C cup area. So I'm not even gonna lie with y'all guys. Uh, sometimes doing sideburns is like, I don't want to say it's it's hard because technically it's, it's easy to do, but I would rather prefer to cut the sideburns off. And the reason why is like sometimes doing the sideburns like this, you got to make sure they match on both sides. And sometimes it is a little difficult. It's not difficult to do one side, but you know, you want to make sure they match perfectly. So you got to take your time, make sure you're knowing uh, exactly how high you are coming up before you start to curve that line. And you just got to be careful and, and know what you're doing, basically. But for the most part, we got it done on this side. Now I'm finishing off the fade of the sideburn area uh, to where it fades into the taper. And then I'm doing some small detail work to make this haircut come together even more. Because once I put that line in there, I could actually see, you know, basically a more finished product of this taper. And I, and I realized that I, it needed some detail work. So that's what I'm doing now. And when it comes to detailing, guys, remember, you can use any guard that you need. Uh, you can even change the clipper if you like. I do that sometimes. And I'm just switching through guards taking away these dark areas uh, adjusting that lever as needed to get rid of these dark spots and as you can see there's still that dark spot that I was messing with earlier on in the video and uh, even though it looks better here I'm still just tapping at it with my clippers and uh, just trying to get rid of these dark areas and basically just trying to make this this taper come together and make sure that that gradient is there and that light spot fades into the dark areas a lot better All right, so I decided that side of the taper was done. I went ahead and started my lineup on the uh, on his front side of with well, his front lineup. So I set my guideline in the middle, and I just started moving my way over inch by inch. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I get to that vertical bar area, and then I'm gonna turn my clippers and set in my vertical bar. And remember guys, when it comes to lining up, uh, it may take you a little longer. You may be able to do it quicker. Everybody's different. Uh, I take my time with lining up. I try not to rush. And I know I do tend to go over the same spot a good amount, but that's just because sometimes when it comes to lining up, you know, one little hair can be off and, it, and it'll make the haircut look or make the lineup look a little, you know, just not as straight. So sometimes you gotta take your time. You gotta really watch, you know, uh, what you're doing and make sure that it looks nice and crisp. All right, so uh, we're starting off on the opposite side of the taper, and for whatever reason, my camera did not focus properly, so it is a little blurry, but y'all can see what I'm doing, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's, and I'm really just doing the same thing that I did on the opposite side. The only difference here, guys, is I'm using another set of clippers. I'm not using my Stylecraft Mythics. I'm actually using my uh, X Ergos from Gamma, and the reason why is my Mythics died on me, so I decided to, uh, you know, just use another pair of clippers. Oh, and also another thing that I'm doing different here is I'm setting in that uh, 
I'm lining him his sideburns up. Well, I don't even know if I did that first on the other side. No, I didn't. I'm lining up his sideburn and his C-cup area first. That way I can actually see more of what's going on. And most of the time, that's how I attack low tapers with sideburns, guys. I normally line that part up first, but for whatever reason, I didn't do it on the opposite side. I, I don't wanna say that I was nervous. Nah, it wasn't that I was nervous. Uh, this, it, this was a new client of mine, so I just think I w it just, you know, just, uh, it just left my mind. Like, I, I, I didn't really like pay attention to it. Not that I didn't pay attention to it, but I just I started attacking the haircut. But once I got to this side, I was a little more comfortable. And like I said, this was a new client. We were talking a little bit on the opposite side and this side. But once I got on this side, I already knew how his hair kind of faded and I knew how I needed to attack the haircut. So I knew that I needed to go ahead and line up that C cup and that sideburn area before I started this fade. That way I can actually see better, you know, get a better image of what's going on. And once again, guys, we're just going to be doing the same exact thing on this side as we did on the opposite side. And then I actually did show me tapering in the back. Also, uh, I know I normally don't show the back sides of haircuts, but I've been trying to do that a little more lately, guys. I'm just trying to, you know, give you all a little more content, a little more, you know, treats here and there. Just trying to let you all see different uh, techniques and different face styles and different angles of the haircut. Because, you know, I mean, technically you're doing the exact same thing. But, you know, I just feel like sometimes in the back it can be difficult or, or people get lost or whatever. So I wanted to make sure I showed that in this video. Alright, so as y'all can see here, I'm just trying to line up his front lineup, and all I'm doing is trying to match this side with the opposite side. Once again, I apologize for the video being a little blurry. Uh, when I looked in the screen of the camera, it didn't look blurry, but for whatever reason, uh, maybe because I zoomed in when I actually uh, when I actually started to edit it or whatever, but it's just not as crisp as it should have been. But I was just lining him up, and then y'all can see me moving on to the back. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm debulking this area, you know what I'm saying, just cleaning it all up before I actually start to uh, put put my taper in. So I'm setting in my bald guideline, you know, very low, you know, we're not, we're not doing a high taper, so we're keeping it low, cleaning all that up. And this is the same thing, as, as you can see, it's kind of a, a rainbow-like shape. It's not really dominant, but it is, you know, it does have a slight curve to it. And that's the same, uh, same exact shape that I'm gonna try to keep through the whole, through the whole taper, guys. So remember, whatever shape I set in with the, uh, with my trimmers, I try to keep all the way, you know, all the way that I go up into the taper. And the reason why I do that is I set, I set my guideline in that way I can follow that guideline with each other guideline because I want that to be the finished look of my fade or my taper I hope I hope that makes sense like I was trying to figure out what I was saying as I was saying it so I hope that makes sense so you know I, I want it to look a little a little lighter in the middle of the taper and towards the uh, towards the lineup I want it to be a little darker so that's the reason why I did it that way I want to give a shout out to my boy Tito Beats, man. Once again, he's the one supplying your boy with these beats. Y'all make sure to follow him on Instagram. His Instagram handle is at Tito underscore beats. Make sure to subscribe to his YouTube, uh, Tito Beats Productions. Y'all give him a follow if y'all need beats. Holla at him, man. He, he's got some good prices for these beats. Also, uh, if y'all like any of these Gamma or Stylecraft tools, y'all can actually go to their website, pick whatever you want, and then use my code at check. Use my discount code when you check out Tank10. You're going to save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, if there's any other tools that you like in this video that aren't Stylecraft or Gamma, I have the uh, link in my description so y'all can click on that and check that out. And yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all thinking about this cut so far. I think your boy's putting in work. I think this haircut's looking good. Uh, obviously, we still got a little bit of work to do. We still going to hit the line with the razor. But I think this cut is coming out great. Y'all let me know what y'all think so far, guys.
All right, YouTube, check it out. This is the before look. This is how my man came into the shop looking. And this is the final product. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. If you're in the Houston area and you're trying to get a haircut, you, know, you can go to my website, tangbechopping.com. You can schedule an appointment. And uh, yeah, YouTube, that's basically it. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, let's go.